What's going on guys? In this video we'll be scraping Reddit using the official Reddit API. Alright, so to get started with that, first we need to do a couple of things. So what we're going to do is go to user settings and then we go to privacy and security. Next up we go to app authorization. Now click here, are you a developer? Create an app. Now we're going to create a name. Uh, we'll just call it testing API. And I will click script for person, uh, personal use. Though I suppose you could choose the other two, but in my case, I'll choose script. For description, we'll just put just uh, testing API. While you're a uh, uh, redirect, you're supposed to put your local host. So HTTP. Uh, local host uh, and then we can just use this uh, port uh, I think this port is usually open for everyone anyway now what we do is we're going to create an app All right. so here you'll see secret and it has a bunch of characters and you'll see personal use script and under personal use script you have a bunch of characters so you want to copy these and make sure you uh, hold on to them. So I'll be copying them onto a notepad. And that should be it with getting access to the API. All right, so we're just going to close this off now. And now we'll go into the script. Now that we've installed the Reddit API, we still have one more installation left. Now this is a framework for Python that allows us to easily communicate with the Reddit API. So we'll use pip install pra, P-R-A-W. So I already have it installed, so you'll see requirement already satisfied. But for you guys, it should take a little longer. And with that, we're ready to access the Reddit API via Python. So now we're ready to scrape Reddit using Python. So the first thing we'll do is import pra and import JSON. You guys don't really need to import JSON this is just something I did to be able to hide some of my credentials. So I'll just run this first cell. All right, now the next part. So these are key pieces of information that we're going to need to have access to to be able to create a Reddit object. So if you remember in the earlier part of the video, I was telling you to remember some information when you were registering for the Reddit API. So we had a personal use script, which was a key code for 14 characters, 28 characters secret, then you have the app name, and then you have your username and your user password. So once you have these key pieces of information, you can create a Reddit object. Now below is how I created a user object. You'll see these user values, that represents a dictionary I created. So basically, for my case, I've created a dictionary from JSON so that I could hide some of my credentials. But in your case, you will not need to create a dictionary unless you need to hide some of your credentials. So where it says client ID, you can directly put your uh, personal use script as shown above. With client secret, same thing. So once again, the user values portion is just a dictionary I created so that I could hide some of my credentials. Now if we go below, this is what I did once again. I've got, I got a JSON file, a Reddit config JSON, and I open it and save all of the data into user values. And then I access the specific key mapping to the information I am interested in. So user values, client ID will get client ID information and so on. But in your case, you're going to directly map the client ID to your client ID. That's pretty much all you need to do to create a Reddit object. So I'll run this and let me just make sure, yes, okay. So I've ran the first portion, the first cell, the second cell. All right, and now that's it. I'm going to call this function and create a Reddit object. All right, so now we have an official Reddit object and here's where the fun part comes into play. So now we can choose any subreddit we would like to scrape. And this being a Python video, I will first start off with learn Python. Now we can save this subreddit object to a variable and I've called it subred. So we'll run this. 
And now this object, subred, will have access to all of the Learn Python's uh, information. So now with that, we have one more way to customize the information. Since there's a lot of data with each subreddit, we can sort it via one of these methods. So you have hot, new, controversial, top, and gilded. And these are some of the basic sorting functionalities of the subreddits. So depending on what you like, you can create a, an object for each of them. So hot, new, controversial, top, gilded and you can have a limit as to how many threads or articles you want to access. So in this case, we'll keep it very short and we'll keep it to around 10 to 11. So I'll run this. All right, so we'll focus on the first uh, object, hot. So we have a hot object which has all the subreddit articles sorted according to the hot source and we're only extracting the first 11. So we have 11 elements of um, the subreddit.hot. So now if we use type.hot, we can see some of the object type of hot. So in this case, we can see it's a listing generator dot listing generator. So since it's a generator, we know that we can access the next element using next. So that's what we do here. We use x equals next hot, and now we can access the next element. So I'll run this. All right. So now let's take a look at what are some of the methods that we can use on X, or what are some of the attributes of X. So if we run this, we get a long list. A lot of these are Python built-ins, so we'll skip those. And now we'll look at what kind of information we can extract from this object or from this element. So we have things like author full name, um, can mod post category, which might be interesting comments we can extract all the comments from this thread when it was created uh, edit download so there's a lot of different types of information we can extract but to simplify this i'm only going to extract two portions let's see the title so i want to get the title of the first 10 threads sorted according to hot and then i want to get the url as well so basically, I'll get the title and URL, and if there's something interesting, I could quickly click on it and get access to the, the thread itself. So let me just uh, get out of this. All right. So now what I'm going to do is iterate through hot, and I'm going to print the title because we know each element has a title attribute as well as a URL attribute. So for i in hot, print i.title and i.url. So let's just run this now. All right, so as you can see, we get the first 11 titles and URL. So automate the boring stuff. Is there a simple, easy way to make a very simple UI automation system? SQLite, what is the utility of tags? Help sorting serial read line, uh, blah, 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 blah. So the best part about sort of um, getting access to the Reddit API is you can do everything through this Jupyter Notebook. So for example, if I want to just uh, look at a different subreddit, I can just uh, switch this name here. And I can access not just the last 10 or the latest 10, I can access the, say, 500 through the 600 element. So there's a lot of flexibility. I could just copy this. Um, and, you know, you could just uh, sort of change this to Python. And then create another cell. Uh, I think it was Learn Programming. And you could actually probably just do a for loop with multiple types of subreddits and get all of these articles or titles and URLs bunched together from multiple different subreddits. So you're pretty much just creating your customized uh, news feed or article feed. So if we run this, we can see, and this as well. Oops, I forgot to run the, I guess it'll be easier just to change it here. Um, but you can make a few minor changes to function or something, and you could get uh, pretty much your customized newsfeed. So look at Python, we'll run this. Um, now we'll just run this. And here, so we quickly could get all of the latest articles in the Python subreddit. One more, learn programming, just curious. Learn pro, all right. And, 
Oops. Run that, run this. You can automate all of this. I'm just doing this now because this is just an example, but you can easily create your customized newsfeed. Yeah. Surprisingly, there's a lot of Python stuff within Learn Programming. So this is Learn Programming. How to use the secure stream, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So that was pretty much just basic intro to how to scrape the Reddit API. In the future, I will create a video on using a neural network to to predict the next word in a sentence or something like that. Or I'll do some uh, data analysis of some of this data and we'll try to extract some, some information. All right. So that's it with this video. I will see you guys next time.